everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 2 video. And today I am hoping to get some more experience and chip away at, I don't want to call it a deficit, but I still have, what's that, 6,000 534. 6,534 is what I need to get another perk. Uh, and looking at this, it is a perk every four levels, but I will get another perk when I level up next. And with the fact that it's been forever since I've been able to select a perk, and with the knowledge that I realized that it'll be even longer uh, between level 12 and 16 than it is level 8 and level 12, uh, I am going to choose very carefully. Uh, I, of course, try to choose very carefully with the knowledge that, or with the fact that I realize that I'm not going to get unlimited. I mean, it's not like Fallout 3 where you get a perk all the time. Uh, but, yeah, so, uh, that's, that's one thing that I am excited about when I do get to level 12, but again, 6,534 experience away from leveling up. And so let's see what kind of enemies I can, <coughs> I can encounter. Not exactly ideal, uh, I will take it and try it because I think these will give me a pretty decent amount of experience. And, okay, that one's already dead. That one's already dead too. There's still two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's still eight red scorpions alive. So ten red scorpions, even if they give 40 apiece, which I know they give more than 40, I think they give 75 apiece. That's 750 if they give 75. I don't know that for a fact. I'm just guessing. Now, I don't like the fact that I'm dealing with... Okay, apparently there's too many of them left for me to count. Okay, here they come. Here they come. I'm poison though, but I'm still over a hundred health. So I'm still feeling good about myself. I'm trying not to get too cocky uh, here. But that red scorpion lost its next turn. So that's one less scorpion to attack me this turn. Did I wound this one yet? No, I did not. I didn't think so. I mean... I was thinking about attacking this one, but... I just... said screw it. I mean... If, if I hadn't attacked either one... Especially... <coughs> well... I guess it ultimately wouldn't have mattered. <coughs> but... I have a good feeling that I'm going to survive this encounter, though. 
I will admit that I am a little bit tired so uh, when I record this so if I'm not as sharp as I usually am then that's why but of course I'm not tired enough to where I can't record or that you know I can't do anything Okay, two scorpions left. I don't know what that other scorpion is doing. Can this one just die? Thank you. Thank you. 990. Okay. Come at me. Okay, so each of them awarded me 110. So, uh, that was initially, uh, 990, so that's 1100. So now I should be at 60,566. Yes. So now instead of. 6,534 now I am uh, 5,434 so instead of 6534 uh, excuse me 6534 it is now 5434 so a good a good chunk of experience there but, um, time to heal myself, though. Uh, and I'm gonna do it right here because I want to make sure that I manage this poison accordingly. Okay, still not at 114 yet. I thought, okay, there we go. Yeah, I would have been a little bit upset if my max health would have gone down one. It's like, no, I need that to go up, not down, dead gamut. It's like, I need every little bit that I can muster. To kill the one I'm on a Mingos, I mean, that's that's gonna be a tough, tough order. And during that fight with the Red Scorpions, I was tempted to go. Well, if they gave me a hundred, then you know. I guess there were ten of them. No, nine. Yeah, there were ten. There were ten. Because a hundred would have been a thousand, and then that extra ten multiplied by ten, so that'd be an extra hundred, so the eleven hundred. Put them away. Okay. Gladly. I will gladly do that. Uh, what you got? 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 Oh, uh, you got nothing. You have absolutely nothing. You have two jet, three gold nuggets, and 29 caps. What am I supposed to do with that? What? What? That's like the worst selection that I've seen in this entire game. I mean, the jet isn't the worst item that you could ever have, but 
I mean, what's the point in buying a gold nugget? There's no point in buying a gold nugget. And then because you're not really selling anything that I want or that, you know, I just, the, the fact that you have 29 caps is basically a moot point to me. Uh, so, I, I just, if this person wasn't so defend or protected so well, I would, like, kill, like, try to kill this person. Legitimately. Like, not even just for a meme. Just because your items are terrible. And you might be hiding something else in your inventory that's far better. But you're, you're protected and guarded so well to where I won't be able to kill you even if I tried. Because I'll be dead first. Ah, oh, jeez. Just worthless. My god. How much is a gold nugget worth? 205 caps. Yeah, no, you can take your gold nugget and you can, like, shove it. You can shove it. I don't I don't care about your gold nugget. You can just ugh. Watch there be used for a gold nugget later on. Like, hey, do you have something valuable like gold that you can give me? It's like ah. And at that point, I will remember that moment and then be sad because I pass up the opportunity for not one not two, but three gold nuggets! This is a piece of the disgruntled stone monument that you or you found out in the desert. Yeah, that talking head uh, from several videos ago. <clears throat> this is a piece of the disgruntled stone monument you found out in the desert. Although many of your village would no doubt regard it as a sacred relic, somehow you suspect that you've been cheated. It weighs five pounds. Best gear is in San Francisco, by the way. Uh, so, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to go to San Francisco. <laughs> I'm going to go to San Francisco. And maybe try to recruit another follower. And uh, try to get better gear. I mean, it it might take me a bit to read your guys' comments, but eventually, when I have the time, I do get around to reading a lot of the comments, and I do try to remember uh, stuff, even though it's hard for me to remember specific things like that. Well, not tr tough to remember, but, you know, just have the time to sit down and go, you know what, I'm going to read some comments today. And I do appreciate all the feedback that <clears throat> you guys leave on these videos and all the comments and all the likes and everything, so uh, keep them coming. I uh, hadn't thought about uh, getting another follower after Sulik <clears throat> because Sulik... <sighs> 
if if you watched back in like 2021 or 22, I think in particular 21, but back when Sulik was a follower, he was a pain at times, but he definitely did help out uh, when I did get in a bind, and I really appreciate that about Sulik. I mean, sometimes his AI wouldn't be the best, and he would do things that I wouldn't want him to do, but I have to remember that it's not like the, this game came out in 2024, or even the 21st century. This game came out in 1998, so, I mean, there's going to be a lot of things that... I don't necessarily like and things that I can say are dumb or that don't make any sense but you know <sighs> for a game that came out in 1998 it performs well I certainly enjoy it otherwise I wouldn't be playing it for as long as I have I don't know what city that is, but I don't want to be there. Oh, that was a caravan? Oh, okay. Okay. Chinatown, San Francisco. Okay, so, uh, as much as as much as I would love to continue this video, I don't feel like continuing it uh, and this is a good stopping point uh, anyway because I always like to leave off on a good stopping point I'm not opposed to a good cliffhanger but if there's a good stopping point like going back to San Francisco I'm all for it I am all for it because then it's like because then I don't have to remember necessarily what I did in San Francisco and take notes on it and do this and do that. I can just come back to it next video and go, okay, well, let's explore San Francisco and see what kind of loot I can get with, um, uh, uh, well, yeah, I forget that I have this random piece of fruit. <sighs> if only I had this Vault 13 canteen in um, the original Fallout. I think I did have it at some point, but I think I got rid of it for some reason. Um... And so, uh, just, you know, that didn't work out for me there, but I'm going to see what kind of gear I can get with, um, 46 caps and, uh, some of the gear that I have in my inventory. Uh, like... The plasma grenade, I don't exactly need that. I think I could do with... Oh, I thought that was a machete. Uh...
I could do without the Ripper because it consumes ammo. It doesn't consume ammo in uh, Fallout 3, at least that I remember. So the fact that it consumes ammo in this game caught me off guard a little bit, but I'm kind of thinking that I don't want to spend the money on energy cells and one thing now of course you guys could comment down below and I would love it if you did and but I might have to figure it out next video but it's gonna be fun figuring out whether the guns value goes up if it's loaded with ammo versus when it's not loaded with ammo because if if I can uh, take all the ammo out of the Ripper and the Ripper stay at the same price when it has ammo versus when it doesn't have ammo, that would be huge because then I could maximize the amount of money that I can get from looting this Ripper off of a corpse. Uh, so I didn't even have to buy this Ripper, as well as the Plasma Grenade. Uh, I don't remember about the... Okay, this 10 millimeter pistol I didn't have to buy. Uh, I don't think so anyway. But I know... Uh... This gun, I didn't have to buy. Or the stem packs. So basically, I got the stem packs, the ripper, the plasma grenades, the needler pistol, which I'm definitely going to sell. Because there is no way I'm, I'm going to be able to really find uh, HN needler cartridges. I'm sure they sell them at a few different locations that I don't know of. But, I kind of don't want to go through the effort of trying to find obscure ammo. That's like trying to find, uh, you know, well, I was going to say BBs in Fallout 3. I think it's like trying to find BBs in Fallout 3 or some random ammo type. Anyway, uh, I just... I just haven't seen that ammo type, and so I think it's a lot better to sell the Needler pistol than to even keep the thing. Plus, I think I am pretty much at my carry weight, uh, as is, so, uh, there's that as well. Uh, I can look, see, uh, it's already in here. Yeah, there's my carry weight. Uh, I mean, I'm good. I'm at 208 of 250, so I'm good. Uh, but, I mean, if, if I can get something better than Metal Armor, I wish I could see an AC rating for this. I really wish I could. Because if I could get stronger armor that's also a little bit lighter, then that would be phenomenal. But I'm just going to have to see what this city holds for me uh, next video. <clears throat> and see so yes, guys, I do believe that that will do it for this Fallout 2 video. And so next Fallout 2 video, I will see you later. Goodbye, guys. Thank you all for watching. And...